Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, I'm going um, to show you how I'm going to conduct the second task for two spear capacitor using finite element method Okay, first of all, I'm going to go to the document and in the a create a new problem choose electrostatic problem and click OK Okay, next from the coordinates that I have calculated in the previous in the previous video, all I need to do to enter the coordinates is just by hit the tab key. Hit the tab and then this enter point will appear. So just enter the first coordinates of the boundary which is zero and click tab. Click tab and enter 150. Then enter. Click another tab. Hit the tab again. Then enter 150. Tab 150. Enter. Enter the tab again. Enter 150. Tab 0. Enter. Hit the tab again. Click. Enter 0. Tab 0. So actually, when you hit the tab, it's going just going to go from the X coordinate straight away to the Y coordinate and then hit enter. Okay, next I'm going to enter the coordinates for the conductor 1 and also for the conductor 2. Just hit the tab again and then I'm going to enter 25 tab 75 enter click the tab again 50 tab 75 enter for conductor 1 next for the conductor 2 hit the tab again enter 100 tab 75 enter and then enter the second note for the conductor 2 click tab 125 tab 75 enter okay i'm going uh, next i'm going to enter the coordinates for the crude oil enter tab 72.5 tab 112.5 enter tab 77.5 112.5 enter for the water coordinates of the water 72.5 tab 75 enter click tab again 77.5 tab and 75 enter Click tap for the air, coordinates of the air, 72.5, tap 37.5, and then click tap again, 77.5, and tap 37.5, and tap. Okay, after we have entered all of our coordinates, as you can see from the screen, in the screen, you cannot see it right, just zoom up, zoom up, okay, here, this is the coordinates, so we can just zoom in this certain area by clicking this one, just our desired, oops, okay, here, here it is, and then, um, I'm going to show you how we can connect this. Okay, just need to click in this line, line button, and then click here, and then click here. Okay, left click, left click until this uh, red square appear, and then click on the other one. Click again, 
remember guys left click on your mouse says to draw the square and then uh, if you want to draw the I mean the circle just click this arc button and then left click on this one and this one as you can see the arc angle here is 90 but we can change it to 180 to obtain a much better circle okay and then all we need to do is just if we start from this left node to the right node and then for the top part all we need to do is just to left click on the right node and to the left node okay here 180 okay let's proceed with this one okay see how i'm doing it from left to right or you can just go right to left you don't want it's fine okay okay Okay, 180. You remember? Okay, so after we have obtained this kind of two dimensional pictures, so we can go to the properties, go to the materials libraries because we need to add our materials, add air, and then we can add water water um, as you can see in the material library we cannot find crude oil but it's okay we can just add transform oil can modify its properties later and click ok so after that we can go to the um, property, uh, property again properties click on the materials can see here this is material material name see if we want to modify the property just click here air but we want the relative um, relative permittivity to be one so it's correct okay and for water modify the property just delete this part we want it to be 80.4 so it's correct okay okay go back again materials and then transform oil modify this property we will, we will change it to crude oil crude oil but the relative permittivity the permittivity should be 3.0 and this one also change it to 2.0 and then just click ok 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 after we have enter entered the permittivity we're going to go to the properties again choose the boundary so what we need to do is actually we need to add the property so in the in the boundary properties in the new boundary i'm just I'm going to change the name to border border fix voltage and i'm going to change the voltage to 5 volt so 5 enter 5 and then click ok so after that i'm going to go to the properties again hit click ok again properties go to the conductors and in the conductor i'm going to add property add property in new conductor i'm going to change it with conductor one conductor one prescribe voltage here choose prescribe voltage and change it to 100 okay okay go to the properties again choose conductors add property 
this one I'm going to name it as conductor 2 okay go to the prescribed voltage 0 volt okay 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 after that um i'm going to show you just right click on the arc that we have chosen just this one arc right and then you're going to right click it right click until this um, red circle appears and then go to the operation and choose open selected and in conductors i'm going to choose conductor one okay just click ok do the same thing for this go to the operation open selected conductor two okay so after that i'm going to choose um, this one the line and then right click on the border the square all of it until this red square appear and after that go to operation open selected on this one in the boundary choose border okay just that one okay okay after we have selected that one going to go going to click this green circle yes click it and just place it here and what I'm going to do I'm going to right click on this small circle here right click until a red square appear and then I'm going to hit the space bar hit the space bar and this in this block type I'm going to change it to water see water choose let triangle choose mesh size and click ok just do the same left click on your mouse to place it and then right click and to make the red square small red square appear hit the space bar and then choose water again okay and then do the same thing here left click right click space bar and then I'm going to choose crude oil okay left click right click space bar choose this one for water water okay left click right click space bar and then I'm going to choose air okay and this one don't forget this circle this I mean this square right click left click until red, uh, red square appear and then space bar choose air okay so after we have done this we need to go to the problem and in this problem definition choose plana I'm going to choose centimeter the depth I'm going to set it to 100 and click OK after that you can save this file we need to save this so I'm going to name it as hot tool in centimeter enter okay um, yes okay so after that after I have already saved the file I'm going to click on this yellow mesh see here click just click OK go to the crank Okay, perform the analysis and then go to the glass see this is the output but we want to show this equipotential line just click here and then 
number of counters I'm going to empty 150 and click OK. See, this is the counters that counters that you've obtained, and then just in case you want to see the value for the crude oil here, this is all the point that we can obtain the density, the electric field, and so on. This is the point 74.1. This is for the water, the density. This one, this is the electric field, and this is for the air, the density, and also the electric field. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you.